Hey, in one of our short chats the other day, Jackie and I uh, discussed set timer and someone had some questions on it. So I want to give a little demonstration of the, the, the main way I use it. Uh, it's a great way to get around um, multi-threading issues or you want to do multi-threading stuff and auto hotkey, but a single thread, single thread really means it's, it stays linear. It's going along. Um, so I'm going to launch what what it does. Let me let me explain what it does here. So single instance four, just so it only runs once. Persistent because I don't have any sort of a hotkey or anything in this. So when this exits, it would be done. When it when it gets through the first time, it'd be done. Um, set timer match, title match two. So I'm telling it to um, when I when this wind close things to um, um, don't pay attention to where the title is necessarily. Uh, it doesn't have to match the full thing, so it's going to be anywhere. Um, and I have it using the class anyway, so actually I don't know if I need that. Uh, maybe I'll just turn it off here in a minute and we'll check. But um, so we, then we say let's use a set timer, and we're going to set it every second. Let's let's start it off at two seconds, so it doesn't happen too too often. Um, so it's into two seconds. It's going to jump. It's going to uh, come on. So. It's going to cut to the set timer and it's going to say, okay, jump down to this label. So it's going to jump down here, check, try to run when close and see if there's a site window open <clears throat> and then return. So every two seconds, it's going to keep checking this, right? It's like a, a loop that keeps happening. But what's really cool is you'll notice here uh, when I run it, you're going to have this message box one pop up. So we're past this part and that's what I want to demonstrate. And, and I even have a second one here just for fun. So let me, let me actually, let's, let's put up site so we can see it. I'll come back here and I'm going to run it. Now, notice this hasn't there. Now it killed it because it took two seconds to actually run. Now, if I start citing, notice the message box is still up. I'm still right here, right? In this, if you were using any sort of go to or anything like that, you'd be stuck, right? Until this message box goes away because it's just, it's stuck in that thread. But if I reopen site, it checks every two seconds and we'll close it, right? So, um, and then we'll go on to the next one. So we're here and I'll reopen site and again, it, 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 depending on, of course, the timing, every t it's checking every two seconds. So sometimes I might start it and it might close it like that right away, right? Um, but we can knock this down to that's every two seconds, right? Every two hundredths of a second. This would basically prevent it from ever really showing up. So let me save it, reload it, run it. Oh, I don't have my hotkeys. Sorry, I took them out. So now basically every time I start this, it's just going to hammer it shut. So it, some people use it for like a, a pop-up blocker or something where you have to do something every time. So this is a good one if you have like um, an Outlook window that comes up and you need to click a button, a certain button. This is a great way to say, hey, wait every once in a while, check that this window exists and then go over and do something. But it can be in your main script, right? Because it's on the set timer and it's and it's under a certain routine. Um, and it, and it, you can tell it like in one of our scripts, we have a checking, I think once an hour. We had one checking once a day and we just leave it running. And then it just periodically goes out and, and does what we want in that little subroutine. I think you can call it to a function uh, as well, or a function of ob objects of functions or something like that. Um, let's let's turn off this and see. I still try and hit my hotkey. So I relaunched it. Now let's open site. Oh, still closed it. Okay, so I didn't need that when I'm using the class. And that's why the thing is, let me... Uh, I, I can't. How do I? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, that's funny. I'm gonna have to exit here. I didn't create an exit key. Um, so when I load site, you'll notice here it says untitled. And of course, if I have other documents open, that would change the title. And so if I want to kill all site windows, I, I would probably use the class. If I wanted to kill, I could also just use like a regex and match partial and say, look for this part of it and disregard the number two. When you look at the settings, um, if we come back into here, this number two, that was saying, look anywhere in the title for um, this, although this isn't, notice it's not site for auto hotkey, right? I would use the wind spy and just say, what is this? So I can copy this, right? But I would copy this and I would put it, um, I would put it, ah, let's do a new one. So I would put it here, I ditch this, put this here, um, and then I would have this as two and that way it should find it anywhere in the title not just um not an entire match i think a one match it has to match everything perfectly uh let's just go to it uh oh it's under here sorry uh set title match mode i don't know if i can yeah i can okay um so there's one two and three must start with so you can tie it to the very beginning i wish they had one to tie it just to the end but that's fine um can, it can be anywhere in it and then it must exactly match so those are the three settings or there's a regex um, and then there's the speed of um how fast you want it to go and, and 
someone no, normally i think it works fine on fast and just sometimes you might want it to do the slow but i hope that helps explain the set timer because uh, they are very helpful in dealing with stuff that you want to keep running and i don't want to have it in a separate script right i can keep it in this script and just have it keep pinging even though my script is doing something else i don't have to worry that like a message box is tied up or just it's in the middle of processing something cheers